coming into tonight. Something's got to give between these two teams. It could come down to the wire. We're underway now with game number one. Helmsy looking over towards tactical whiffs. Long Beach State going to get the first decent look of the night, but it's going to be sent away easily by E. Rich and the Colorado State defense. And I do like this Long uh, Beach State team. I think Helmsy, Tactical Whips, Mango, Sticky Race are all solid players in their own right. But the Rams, especially lately, Stacks, on stream, they've just had really, really good synergy in their passing. I was about to say synergy right as E-Rich back, uh, back flipped on that passing play. But they keep possession here, and I think that that might be a lot of what you see here. You're going to see the Rams dictate the pace of the game. They're going to cause a lot of pressure. They're going to force Long Beach State to pick their battles on defense rather than being able to challenge everything confidently. I, I think that th that's what you're going to see more often, at least in this first game. And it's all about how Long Beach State can respond to that pressure from the Rams. Because the Rams like to play aggressive. They like to carry the ball close. They like to pass the ball when they can. But they're, they're very much an aggressive team. And Erich will punish on the whiff. First whiff of the day for Long Beach State. Turns into a goal for the Rams. Yeah, this is an awkward ball. Helmsy trying to get in position down low. And then you got a guy up on the backboard that couldn't get to that ball. And Erich is right there. Sometimes she's charged the net in the hopes that, yeah, you know what? Maybe they'll botch one. That time, Long Beach did. And Colorado State gets an early goal out of it. Now H, uh, he was looking to set up Nomad, but Nomad peeled off. So now he'll be back to at least try and play this ball. It's not a great first touch. Mango Sticky Rice to keep it up. And, oh, Tactical Whiffs came up empty. And it didn't look very tactical as this goes back to MSR in his own zone. Um, so far, it hasn't actually been. You know, Long Beach State have found pretty solid clears. The Rams have been forced back well, a couple of times. So it's a strong start despite giving up that goal to be able to respond with some good clears downfield, but now it's all about being able to set up shop in midfield and then start getting real offensive pressure going, meaning shots in front of the box, passes that force the defense to stretch, not just shoveling the ball into the corner and then retreating and then stealing boost and then put shoveling the ball into the corner again. No, you got to put paint. You got to put the, the target painter on that and you really got to turn the screws on this CSU Rams defense. This is a Long Beach State team that, you know, sometimes the the CRL roster is actually an accurate de depiction of the school itself as that ball is going to be thrown off to the corner. It seems they have kind of like an identity crisis. Yeah, at times, you know, they've got the win over Oregon, and then at other times you see plays like what led to that first goal and kind of fits the school. That, that's seen numerous, numerous other names over its, what, 60, 70-year history as that ball going to be saved away by Mango Sticky Rice. Helmsy avoids the demolition, and he'll get a big clear downfield. Tactical Whist looking to give him a tie game, and that ball saved away by H just barely at the goal line. Uh, well, that was a good counterattack, but there's got to be a follow-up. They had a potential setup. You had a steal. You, you had a boost steal in the corner, but then you pulled off on the play, and you're lucky this ball isn't in the net right now. I don't know how that wasn't put on target, but Long Beach State I think they should be looking at a two-goal deficit right now. Helps he wins one challenge. Mango Sticky Rice won't get a chance at the ball as Nomad played it away. Out of the corner, it is Helmsy. Good ball over to Tactical Whiffs. And a tactical block made by H. And he'll go all the way back for boost in his own end and wait for Erich to throw this ball downfield. He could not, so H does have to play this. Trying to snipe the corner. E. Rich is oh. there for the redirect as well. H got the touch on, and Tactical Whiffs will send this away. It remains 1-0 as the teams battle back and forth, but better opportunities at times seem they have belonged to Colorado State to try and expand that lead. And good ideas, too, from the Rams. This is what we saw from them last week on stream. They had some creative ideas on offense and H just didn't have enough boost on the last opportunity to do anything about it. That was a great pre-jump save from H. Hopped right in front, knew exactly how to defend that ball, and the Rams are doing a good job hanging on to this lead, although the shot 
uh, keep the shot counter keeps ticking up for Long Beach State. However, it might all fall apart here. Open, but nobody's there to take the shot. Maybe H was the guy who should have put it in. Well, this kicks back out. They did take Nomad off the field. Can't get the ball to go with that demolition. So Colorado State will try to hang on. Long Beach got to go all the way downfield, and they do not. A little timid in game one was Long Beach State, and Colorado State hangs on. Yeah, uh, again, it's tough to put consistent, solid pressure on, on the Rams. Long Beach State had the right ideas with the counterattacks. They had good pressure uh, at the beginning of the game, like in the in the first minute or so. And H, I think it was H and Nomad that had two really solid saves that should have been Long Beach goals, but uh, Rams goaltending ended up just being the outplay on them. But I think Long Beach, they have a they have a groundwork to build on in this match stacks. You know, it, it does start on your own half. It starts with solid clears and solid midfield presence. I think Long Beach have both of those, but being able to hang on to the ball on offense is probably the toughest thing to do in CRL to generate consistent pressure. Game one goes just one nothing after all the fireworks we saw between uh, Oregon and UT Arlington. It was more of a tactician's fight, at least in game one. Let's see what they do for an encore. Helmsy thought about following that up. Tactical Whiffs gets there instead. Boost and ball, but not centered as H is there. He's had some crucial blocks around midfield and around his own back line to stymie the Long Beach attack. And now H will score here as he continues to terrorize the beach. Yeah, Mango Siki Rice didn't get a favorable challenge and then just missed that read. I think that ball kicked out a little farther than he was expecting. His trajectory was telling him it's coming a little straight down or a little more straight down, but it kicked a little farther out. He tried to make up for it on his flip, but was still just had too much downward momentum or, and couldn't get far enough out. So unfortunate for Mango Sticky Rice on that attempted read. Here goes Elmsy just out of his reach, but now Mango Sticky Rice has time, but not a lot of it. Erich got right on top of him. And back again goes the Long Beach attack. And they have to start from their own back corner. Erich is up for this. And now I think you're starting to sense, Torby, that Colorado State's getting very comfortable attacking Long Beach State. And LBSU has got to get downfield a little more aggressively to kind of force them to stay back a little bit. Uh, it's tough because they haven't been able to win a challenge past oh, midfield. Fuck. And Erich just wins the goal. Let's see, how does this one go in? Mango Sticky Rice, attempted clear. Nomad is thinking... Uh, or is making everyone think, I'm going to touch the ball, but then he just shades down. Erich totally called him off that pass, and it led to that goal. Oopsies! Two out, two out of three goals from the Rams have come from Erich. And now this, this two-goal lead, if Long Beach continues to struggle against the Colorado State defense, could be insurmountable, but there's still three and a half minutes to go. Tactical whiffs. Has to give way to Mango Sticky Rice. MSR beaten out by E. Rich, so now Helmsy will try. Eventually, somebody's got to clear the center line, and Colorado State does, or Long Beach does, for only a moment. Oh. Now, H, it is wide open, and it is 3-0. That's as free as it gets for H. And like you said, they got to get past the midfield line at some point. I don't think that they've gotten past the midfield line more than once, and the one time that they did, they put a shot on net stacks. So... Maybe there'd be more success if they can find those challenges, but it's difficult because no one's positioned for it. Like, they gotta have somebody downfield ready for it, but everybody's back along the back wall, playing defense, playing the safe rotation, because nobody has enough boost to feel confident going downfield. Whenever they have a chance to, there's no boost to look at, so as soon as they see a, there's no boost on, on the sides to go for, they just stay back, or they see a car uh, our Rams car that's already in position and it's tough you don't want to put yourself in a you don't want to put yourself in no man's land you want to be in a productive position on your team you don't want to just be you know there just for the sake of it to play the, to force the ball into an area it's not a fun way to play and it's a frustrating uh, time for Long Beach State because this just keeps happening they can't get off the goal line and it is a smothering attack from the Rams 
Yeah, and you just watch, uh, you know, Tactical Whiff sitting on the goal line. He, he had just fallen there, and now he's got to react to, is this shot going to go left or right? And by the time the shot even gets on him, it is way, way too late. Halfway mark, and it has been all Colorado State. This ricochets off of Helmsy, right back into the Long Beach end. Tactical Whiff's at least got a decent first touch, but it bounces right oh. out to Nomad. And the Rams continue to tear the Long Beach line asunder. Absolutely blown apart. Solid shot from Nomad. Right into the net. And it was fast enough that Tactic Whiffs had to be perfect on his launch and missed it just by a little bit. And this has just gotten away from Long Beach State. This is one where you, you take these next two minutes, you relax, you, you accept what this is. It's a loss. And you just kind of figure out where did things go wrong? How can we readjust and find better presence in the midfield? Because there's there's just, whether it's in the second man position or a lead blocker or, or a lead passing position stacks, that position has been completely eliminated by the Rams because they've, they, they're just out positioning Long Beach in that respect. Like if one player is consistently adding no value to the rotation, then this is exactly what happens. And I'm not saying that as if like, a, a, you know, a player adds no value on Long Beach State. I'm just saying, you know, they've been a victim of their positioning and haven't been able to figure it out. So you're not getting any value out of your positioning because of it. They got to figure it out. You can slow things down, reset the mind here for game number three and try to find a way through. But it's been difficult. The Rams have just, you said it, tore them asunder. Yeah, why wait for April? Seems every time CSU is on this stream, it is CSU day. They continue to pepper the Long Beach back wall. They have not given up a goal here in the first nine minutes almost of gameplay. Mango stick your extra tactical whiffs, and that ball goes all the way through. Helmsy will at least keep this in the zone. They're going to try to break up the shutout here with a minute left. Nomad blocked that ball. There was nobody to pass it to anyways. And here goes eight. Down the sideline without a lot of boost. And it's all that Long Beach can do to at least get back onto the Colorado State side. And then this goes all the way through to the back line. And all that work was all for naught. Uh, it does seem like uh, Long Beach are trying to run through their progressions, try to get a good understanding of how the Rams are playing the ball. And I think one thing that's killing them is the the reads that they're expecting. Like they're expecting the first man on the Rams to go a certain way with the ball. And so their idea is to trap it because they want to catch the ball and carry it. That's fine. But if you're not reading the ball correctly in that sense, you're never going to find anything in that first man spot. And so it feels like LBSU are in a constant 2v3 because of that. That's why it's 7 nothing. It's It really comes down to that, that first man. And sometimes... It, it's great to want to trap the ball or it's great to want to play receiver on that touch but sometimes you just gotta slap your face into the ball man i know that it gets memed on I, I know people got you know people have things to say about that but it really is the way to play a lot of the time and that's how you don't get scored on seven times so i think this is an anomaly for long beach i expect a much closer game three and you know a much more competitive match or a much more competitive game rather yeah, so often we've seen, you know, after, first of all, after a blowout like this, uh, you know, the, the losing team, the team that was on the receiving end of a shellacking, will bounce back in a big way because, I mean, a number of reasons. First, you've had maybe half of a game to look back and go, all right, you know what? This game's out of hand. Let's just go through the motions, as you mentioned, Jorby, and, and get ready for the next one. Granted, it's a must-win now that it's 2-0 in the series, but also sometimes you see some bad habits develop on the other side, and all you got to do is get one, and then you can kind of start the ball rolling downhill on the comeback trail. But it is a long road back for Long Beach State, having yet to score in the first 10 minutes of this series. Yeah, it's one of those snowball-y things, you know, because you have to have some semblance of trust in your first man. It, even if he has the loss, you, you have the faith that your second and third man will be able to cover both types of options right but if if both of your teammates are expecting you to at least get a touch onto the ball and you don't that throws the entire rotation out of whack and now you're, you're constantly playing acrobatic defense that's why you saw tactical whiffs 
have to make some jumping saves. That's why you saw Mango Sticky Rice miss a couple as well, or Helmsy not be there for a challenge. I think they get it right. I think they right the ship here. If they Do they take the game? I don't know, but I do think it will be a little closer down the line. A win here on DFH Stadium would make Colorado State 6-6, six and 23-24 six, and 24 in overall games. They have been, well, an average team. And they're trying to get a little bit closer to that exact 500 mark. Mango Sticky Rice. Bouncing one, trying to get indirect for a teammate. Didn't work out. Helmsy will have to make a turn on this and burn some of his boost to get there. He's been given a lot of time. And I think that's maybe an adjustment that Long Beach State can make if Colorado State is just waiting for them to give the ball back to them. Play that possession game. But they got to get downfield one way or another. This is better. Mango Sticky Rice, tough angle. Well, they didn't get that ball netward and couldn't get a teammate set it up either. This forces through and tactical whiffs is there in time. It's working out this time though. Now, at least in this first minute, first first man is at least getting in front of the ball, at least making the challenge and the positioning has been exactly how you expect it. This is gonna be a tough opportunity, but Tactical Whiffs has gifted a light shot to save. And now a quick counterattack. Mango Sticky Rice trying to play a bully. He got the demo, but the shot never comes. Counterattack and, and no, too light of a shot. No chance just yet for the Rams. That's a great job by Helmsy getting back there too and disrupting that breakaway opportunity. Now Mango Sticky Rice, they did lose Helmsy, but the shot is just off the mark. Tactical Whiffs almost got Long Beach on the board for the first time this series. Would have been their first lead as well. Would be a big momentum boost for them as they try to mount a huge comeback here starting in game three. Nomad to center for H. Boy, they are up a lot. They are challenging Long Beach State to give them a reason to fear them on the counterattack. Everybody whiffs here. Mango Sticky Rice downfield. Nobody's home for Colorado State and Tactical Whiffs just could not guide it on target. Yeah, that launch downfield had to be a little bit quicker and a little bit closer to the net if you want that rebound to be favorable for you. But still, Stacks, it's not 4-0 at this point. You're right. I'd say it's an improvement. And in fact, they put a couple shots on net. Three of them, in fact, all from tactical whiffs so far. Yeah, they've had opportunities. And Colorado State, I think, now is starting to think, hey, you know what? Wait a minute. Let's make sure we close this one out. Here's Helmsy. Taking his time as H comes to meet him. Now Dakko whiffs. Again, given time and avoids the turnover initially. Mango Sticker is begging for that corner boost to spawn and it did not for him. Wow. Hey, this is an impressive offense for the Rams. A lot of challenges that are just forcing Long Beach back every single time. And Mango Sticky Rice, he can't get a solid touch in front. That gives Nomad a chance to challenge the ball in front. E-Rich also just pinches it away. Love the decision making in these little micro 1v1s from E-Rich. He has been really solid every time he's behind the ball in these tight situations. He's winning the lion's share of them because of touches like that. That's a great touch Ooh. by Mango Sticky Rice and a better save as Helmsy will also come to help out. And he does get that ball downfield past Nomad. Mango Sticky Rice looking for the demo. Didn't get it. But Helmsy will play this back into the corner. Now they've got a chance as that ball skips all the way across the face of the goal. It was designed by Colorado State. Tough angle now for Tech Whips. Boy, he almost found that angle. And now you're seeing Long Beach bring the fight to Colorado State. And how many times have we seen it, especially out West Jorby? You let a team hang around and all of a sudden, the momentum starts to change just a little bit. Yeah, one counterattack is all it could take. One whiff. And that's it, especially at this moment. Oh, Mango Sticky Rice wants to put more pressure onto the net, but it's going to be up to Helmsy next. This is looking pretty good so far for Long Beach. If they can keep this up, keep winning these challenges in the corner, they got to keep the boost stealing up as well. Otherwise, that's going to happen. Someone had to challenge that ball for Nomad. That's going to be tough for Tactical Whiffs to keep the ball out. H got clipped a little bit on his way through. E. Rich indirect for himself. The ball's gonna ricochet out to Nomad. Double Ooh. for the lead, and he throws it way off to the corner. 
Well, Nomad's nope. been close a couple of times. He's had a flip reset he attempted earlier that he missed. He actually flipped away from the ball, but it was looking really deadly. That time, a double tap, he just couldn't quite collect on, and here he is again. Oh, Mango Sticky Rash went after meet him. Helmsy's got to get up. Nobody has any boost tackle. Whiff does beat E Rich. Oh. oh, that was a near miss, but they're not out of the woods yet. Nomad. Back to the back wall. Mango didn't get the big power clear. This is loose in front. Helmsy's going to boom it down. Gatko Whiffs is down there. Three oh, seconds left oh, for the win. Oh, oh, what a save. Mango no. and East tonight as well. From 7 nothing to game three overtime 0-0. Zero, zero. You'll love to see it. Great recovery by Long Beach, no matter what the result is at the end. Absolutely praise the resilience to come back and make it a sweaty game three. Tactical whiffs, big block. Now he's got to find a way to get by Nomad. He at least did. This kicks back out towards e -Rich. Somebody's got to get downfield. It's going to be Holmesy. Full tank of boost. He can stay down for a moment. Oh, Tactical whiffs. Clever touch to keep that from bouncing out cleanly. Now Nomad looking for e -Rich for the win. <gasps> no, he could still get there and Tactical whiffs stopped him. Oh, I thought for sure that was it. I knew he had his flip. I thought he had it for sure. Oh, it was so close. Oh, he's got a man downfield. Helmsy is way downfield. Somebody's got to get back. And it's got to be tactical whiffs up against H. It is going to be loose in front, and Helmsy is going to be there. But everybody's got to scramble back into position for Colorado or for Long Beach State. That's a big clear by Mango Sticky Rice. Let off the hook there by Erich and gang. Let off the hook is putting it lightly. They are so lucky that ball wasn't put on target. Tactical Listra have left the net for boost. Oh, that's a double. Oh. They had a double come in. I thought, sorry, Jeremy. I thought that was going to be a no, big no. counterattack. Now Mango going to try to play it himself, and Erich is all over him. Oh, what a challenge. And, well, they got the demo on Nomad, but H is there. What a showdown here in game three. Colorado State's trying to finish the job here, and Long Beach State refuses to die. You got. I'm, I'm looking at Nomad, and Nomad, he's been itching for a highlight goal, and he just might get it. He's turning in front. He just gets the touch. That could have been really deadly for Long Beach. Mango Sticky Rice on the catch. It's saved and taken away. E Rich will get the ball downfield, and now the continuation goes for the Rams. Here they come. Helmsy intact whiffs. Boy, Helmsy jumped over him. <gasps> That's a challenge, and it's on target, but E Rich makes the save. Oh, they were that close. Tactical whiffs, full boost, and Helmsy left to make the save. Can Tactical whiffs get downfield? Can Helmsy get him there? No, he's got to stay back. But Helmsy can stay downfield. He has been quite a bit in this overtime. H comes up completely empty. What? And this is going to continue to game four. Oh, a complete meltdown on defense. What happened here? Just a, just a clean whiff. Just a clean whiff from H. He was... I think... How? <laughs> I, I was looking at H's player cam. Yeah. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking H thought that ball was coming down. Because he he was positioned as if he was going to play it off the top of his car and get the clear. But like he was co he was consistently sitting under the ball. Like he wasn't trying to meet it up although I think he could have. Like I think the better play there is to is to meet the ball on the rebound. But he just he just missed the ball. I, what else do you want me to say? Oh boy, how fitting that tactical whiffs scores after the exact opposite of a tactical whiff on the Colorado State side. Well, here we go. Game four. Here we just go. Wanna throw, just want to throw out there, uh, I got a perfect five for five on the line here. Colorado State wins this game. Just Ooh. saying. I'll be four we, for five. I'm with you. I'm uh, with right? you. This right? will be my best day ever, my best day of the season yet. I'm here for it. Right, waiting for all my praise from F God, but Long Beach State, they're going to have other plans. They took 12 minutes and 31 seconds to score a goal in this series, and that one goal gave them a win and prolonged the proceedings here at the end of the night. MSR, I think he ran into a teammate there on his way downfield, oh. and oh, the shot from Helmsy just off the mark. Is he able to turn on this? He certainly is. He couldn't pinch that ball around the corner. 
Tactical Whip's going to be beaten out by Nomad. Here come the Rams as Mango Sticky Rest will try to delay. Big shot from Erich. Follow up from H. And CSU has the lead. A good follow up here. Mango Sticky Rice did what he could to get that clear. Tactical Whiffs rushed that a little bit. Was expecting a closer ball. Was expecting it closer to the posts. I think he just mistimed his flip. I actually think if he waits just a little longer on his timing, he gets it. But that's unfortunate for Long Beach State. After you had such a, what was really a solid defensive performance in game three after that 7-0 shellacking. And to play a much better first man position, you're challenging the ball rather with, with confidence and with uh, poise rather than trying to play reactionary. And it worked to their benefit really well. So it's still early in this game and they got a chance here in front. Mango Sticky Rice missed the ball. The first goal scored in every game of this series has technically been the game winner. one nothing, 7 nothing, one nothing the other way. Can Long Beach State come up with a response? They've got a ton of time to work with here in game four, a must win to force game five. H, all the way to the corner, looking for a demolition. Tackwiss avoids him, and Helmsy avoids Nomad on his way downfield. Tackwiss denied the midfield boost, and everybody's gonna have to turn back as H is gonna have a big clear, at least to the center line. Our midfield is tenuously under Long Beach's control, but that's a smart touch from Helmsy and a great move by Tactical Whiffs. This is a good setup. I like this. You get a solid pass out to Mango Sticky Rice, but that was way too much juice put on the ball by Helmsy. Oh, and oh, they get that scored was on. Way too much ambition, too. They had everybody forward. They're going to be slow coming back, and I wonder... I'm going to watch Helmsy here. I wonder if he thought that shot was on. He turned away. I don't know. I think if he turns in, he might have had a shot at the rebound. Tough to say for sure, but that one, I mean, that's just a feels bad goal. Especially for tactical whiffs, you're, you're basically in an impossible situation on that play. You're, you're hoping yep. that you're just correct on that read, and that bounce is, it's one of the most unpredictable bounces in the game, and it can be really difficult to, to really find a, way, uh, find a way to bring that out. Another ball ricocheted back into the Colorado or the Long Beach State end. Colorado State on the attack, looking for another goal, trying to run away with this game as they did game two. Tactical whiffs and Mango Sticky Rice both committed. That leaves Helmsy all alone to try and delay at midfield. He at least stalled the counterattack, but downfield come Colorado State yet again. Tough angle, but E. Rich scores from the slot. Now Long Beach were forced into diving situations. Tactical Whiffs lost that challenge all day. But Mango Sticky Rice has to grab that rebound. He's got to at least jump on that ball, play it to the corner. You can't play the rebound there. H is sitting. He's all over you. The Rams have been all over you all game. You cannot let that ball bounce. Like, if you have the position and the boost to touch that ball into the corner, you just have to take it. It doesn't matter if, if a Ram can play it back into the corner. You at least give your teammate a chance to defend it. And now it's looking like game two all over again. And the Rams can't stop scoring. Yeah, you said around this point in uh, maybe a little earlier in game three, hey, it's not for nothing. Yeah. Now it is with a minute 49 to go and just a mountain facing the beach right now. There is time and we've... We've seen strange things happen, especially as we near midnight on the East Coast. Yeah, I hate when my mountains show up on my beachheads. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Tactical Wish looking to go all the way downfield. He's going to have to do it by himself, and he won't even get a shot off as this bounces around. And I think even the what? defense... What? What is oh, that? Oh, boy. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop Stop the game. I don't know what that was. What? What was that? Don't actually, don't actually stop the game, but I just, I don't that know, That was man. bizarre. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what? That, that was, that was a late night CRL moment. That's all. Just, oh, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope it never happens again. H will take this to the back <laughs> wall. It seems like there's only a score line left to be determined. It seems the winner is well in hand here. Nomad finally looking for one for the highlight reel. He will not get one on this occasion. 
He may get another chance, just throwing one in front. Easily stopped by Tactical Whiffs. He could break up the shutout here, but that's gonna sail high, and it will be another clear. Colorado State with this win. Okay, they won't get to a minus one. It'll be, I think, still minus two game differential for them. But look at the six and six on the season. What, weren't the they season like two and is, six? Yeah, they I mean they they're were like struggling a four game for a little a four while, match right? winning streak. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure they're stacking wins right now. And I mean, I, I see why. Yeah. Like this this was a really solid performance from all three players. I, I thought, you know, Nomad maybe could have a, a little bit more success on offense, but the fact that he's feeling confident to go for those things, not they're not really being punished on his opportunities to go for those. But like, I mean, they they look really solid right now. This is quite a, a comeback in the standings for the Rams. I'm I'm genuinely impressed. And that's what happens so often here in CRO. Mango Sticky Rice. Hey, you know what? At least they're going to make it look close, if nothing else. But, uh, yeah, you get a team like Colorado State that gets all the, the tough teams on the schedule out of the way early. And those wins eventually have to come somewhere down the line. And they are starting to come in for the Colorado State Rams. Nine shots, four goals. We'll take it. And they go through in four games over Long Beach State. You know what? I like this team. I really, really like this team. Especially, like, that they just dunk on Jorby every chance they get. Wow. What do you mean? F dot, defend me, please? Yeah, F dot. Come, come defend your boy. Go ahead. Hello? Try. Let's, let's bring F dot back in here so he can try to defend Jorby's honor, <laughs> and so he can praise me for my fantastic, just like Gibbs-esque, perfect five for five performance. Uh, everyone gets one, dude. Everyone gets one, and you got yours. Okay. Hey, you I'm know four what? out of five. Every that's so that's gonna be my so best often, all season. So I'm I'm happy with it. I'm happy. With every it. so often, a blind squirrel finds an Akron. Uh, yeah, and. Every day a clock is right. I don't know. It's like midnight stacks. <laughs> I don't have the phrase for you. Blind squirrel.